hey guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to make Asian uh, macaroni. Uh, normally when someone says macaroni, they mean like pasta and cheese. Well, this is the Asian macaroni way. Uh, this this will include soup, um, pasta, pork meats, lemongrass. So, um, yeah, I was going to add quail eggs to it. Uh, if you don't know what that is, sorry, it's um tiny little bird eggs that you can add in soup and deep fries and that, um, not deep fries, stir fries I mean, uh, and it tastes really really good. So I was going to add some of that to my macaroni but I don't have any in my cupboard at the moment so next time I make it I'm probably going to add it in but you guys will be able to see because I'm making it now. Anyways, this is what I look like without makeup on. Wow, as if you haven't seen a girl without makeup on before but seriously, I'm in the kitchen, what is there to impress, like, I'm going to impress my macaroni with makeup and eye eyeshadow, I'm gonna impress my kettle. My kettle's gonna be so impressed, it's gonna start boiling itself. No, <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, this is what I look like. Get used to it. Uh, I'm not gonna wear makeup all the time, it's not good for your skin, girls. But I'm gonna show you how to make this Asian macaroni. Um, if you do check out all my other YouTube videos, I show you how to make crispy fried chicken, um, the Asian way, and I show you how to make spring rolls. And if you don't know how to fold it, I show you how to fold it as well. So it's easy as guys, anyways. Uh, um I'll get to the macaroni now and you guys can get started. So yeah. Okay, so first of all, I used um this sort of pasta. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what it's called. Um the large shells. This is from Coles. So so far I've chucked in three cups and underneath that one is the spiral one. So I chucked in three cups into there. And you're meant to be um, putting this in boiling water by the way, but I couldn't be bothered waiting for it to boil. So, here it is. I'm just going to stir that. So, I used about three cups of that. Now I'm just going to let it boil, you need to add um, a pinch of salt to that, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. By the way, just letting you know, I'm not using measuring cups, measuring cups, I mean, I'm using um, a normal mug to measure the amount of um, pasta I need to put in the pot. So anyways, I um, need three of those, I just added another half cup to it, because my dad eats a lot and I eat a lot, so, yep. Yeah. Gonna make sure it fills up everybody. Alright, after you chuck the pasta in, you need two sticks of lemongrass. This is what lemongrass looks like. I just washed it and I cleaned it. So I'm just gonna chuck that directly into the pot and just let it sort of boil in there so the flavor comes out. This one's too long, I think I have to cut it. In it goes. I have to cut the other one because it was too long. Just mix it in there and leave it boiling in there. Let it boil on medium. You need at least half a kilogram of mincemeat or less than half, like not almost half. Um, I can't explain it. I had like I grabbed like two handfuls of mincemeat. It's pork mince as well, and my mom bought it. Like she bought like a big kilogram of minced meat and I just grabbed like two handfuls and my hand is exactly as big as you think it is <laughs> no. but like um yeah it's pretty small so I don't know how much you'll be able to get like I think at least less than half a kilogram is good enough and then I'm gonna add some salt to it this is one teaspoon so far one and a half oh, um, teaspoon of salt um, should be sufficient enough and then after that you need white pepper and I'm just getting that right now I'm just going to add a teaspoon of white pepper into that and then I'm going to cut up three clovers of garlic and dice it up nice and small and just chuck it in with the mince meat with the soup, while it's boiling guys, um, add some fish sauce to the soup. 
I'm going to just shake the bottle in. I'll probably add it about three tablespoons in there right now. But to make sure that you've added the right amount of fish sauce in, I can't really tell you how many tablespoons. You have to kind of taste it yourself. I'm just going to go grab a spoon now. And I'm going to taste this myself. Okay, because you don't know if it's um, like any good or not. Like when you're cooking, you always have to taste it to make sure that it's right. So I'm just going to taste it now. Okay, it's already, it's already um, full of flavour because of the lemongrass. But I'm just going to add probably another two tablespoons and that's it. We're just gonna add two tablespoons and mix the um mix the soup around, okay? Okay, guys. So um before you chop your garlic, we're gonna add some fish sauce to it. This is um fish sauce here. I know it says squid, but it is the brand. It's squid brand fish sauce. See the writing? Anyways, just wanted to show you guys the obvious. Otherwise, you're gonna think, why is she saying fish sauce for? It says squid. But yeah, um it's going to be hard because I don't know the exact amount like when I cook I already know the amount in my head I already know how much to put in but since I'm showing you guys I have to show you the measurements and everything I already I already um showed you guys um how many teaspoons of pepper and all that but I have to show you guys um how many like tablespoons of fish sauce I'm going to put in but it's going to be hard since I'm holding the camera so how about I do it first and I come back and I tell you guys. Alright, see ya. Okay, so I added two and a half tablespoons of fish sauce and I started mixing it in. Um, now I'm just going to add, because I forgot this part, I'm going to add um, one teaspoon of monosodium, which is this here. It's different from salt and sugar. It's like... I can't show you on camera because I'm using my phone's camera and it's really shit. So, I'm just going to describe what it looks like to you. It's like long and thin. It's thinner than salt and sugar. And um, it's called monosodium or MSG. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of that into the mix. And then I'm going to um, finish chopping up my garlic and add it in. Chop the garlic in and start mixing it. After you're done mixing it, let it like just sit it in the bowl for about two minutes. You're going to put it into the soup, and it should look like this so far. The pasta should be expanded. Grab the minced meat and just roll it into a ball, like a small ball. roll it into like a beef ball sort of thing like that and just chuck it in the soup and just keep doing that until you've done all of it it can be different sizes but it will eventually cook in the pot anyway I like to make mine sort of medium sized Okay, so I'm just going to stir it in with my dirty hand. I have to clean the spoon again. Stir it in. Make sure that it's in the soup so that it's cooking. And yeah, just practically do that. Just roll it into a bowl, put it in your soup. Do all of it, put it in, mix it, and it should be cooked and ready. So yeah, the meat should be cooked in about maybe less than 10 minutes, less than 5 minutes actually because it's pork mince and pork mince cooks really fast in heat. So yeah, it's about 5 minutes and then it's ready to eat. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that. See ya. Hey, there you have it. My Asian macaroni. That's what it looks like.